Hi everyone, it's Vicky here, making 10 cards out of the Simon Says Stamp Halloween card kit. This kit was sold out a few hours after it was released, and even if you don't have this uh, kit, I am going to link you individually to all the products that were included. But first, let's take a quick look on what's inside the kit. Now, it comes packed with uh, products. You get three Nouveau crystal drops in Halloween colors, and uh, you also get uh, those uh, three tea lights with battery, which are really great for creating little lanterns. You also get six paper bags, a mask by memory box. I'm going to use it on one of my cards. You get your clear stamp set full of adorable images, and it's all everything is Halloween themed. You also get those adorable eyes, which I am going to use again and again in my cards today. A doodle bag um, ribbon, a pack of uh, sequin in Halloween colors. You also get uh, a 6x6 double sided uh, pattern paper, and uh, these are by doodle bag. And you get 12 uh, out of them. And also, you get uh, five different uh, cardstock which, uh, as always, I am going to cut in half and fold them, so I will end up with 10 card bases. So let's get started with the first card. My first card is going to be super easy and super simple. I just had to use one of the pattern papers with that adorable image, so I'm just going to cut it out in a rectangle. I have used my die cutting machine, and then you can stick it directly on your card base at the center, or you can do it just like me in an angle. This is going to give a kind of a more interesting look. So I'm going to stick it down with my glue and I'm going to use my scissors to cut out the excess. This is a nice trick if you want uh, to keep the card super simple but at the same time just add a little bit um, of interest. So I am going to use my glossy accents on the pumpkins, the ghosts and the windows just to embellish it a little bit more. And since this is so simple, I'm going to add even one more element on my card, which is going to be the ribbon. Now, for the ribbon that was included in the kit, I am going to use a brad on one side, so I'm just folding it. I'm going to use a poke tool to make a hole, so that I can add the brad easily through there. And then I'm going to measure how long of uh, that ribbon I need, cut it out with my scissors, and I'm going to use glue at the back and stick it at the very bottom of my panel. Trying to make sure that the ribbon is nice and straight down there, and then I'm going to use my scissors to cut out the excess. Now for the second card, and probably the most favorite of all I made today, is um, the one where I am creating a kind of a mummy look for the card. So I have used this uh, pattern paper and I am cutting out strips. I am trying to uh, cut them out by having that white uh, edge, at least on one side of uh, those uh, strips. I'm going to do it throughout the whole uh, 6x6 pattern paper. And once I, ha once I have all those uh, strips cut out, I'm going to stick them down on panels. So I'm just covering up this scrap piece of uh, paper and I'm going to stick everything down, making sure that I cover it up with uh, strips all over. Once I cannot see the um, cardstock at all, I can use my scissors to cut out the excess. And I will repeat the same process to the other panel that you see on screen right now. So now that I have both panels ready, I'm going to use some a foam adhesive at the back. And I'm going to stick them directly on top of my card base. For this card, I am using the black card base. And I'm going to stick one at the bottom of the card base and one at the top. So this way I have uh, uh, two raised panels. For the gap in between them, I am going to use the rest of the strips that I have left. 
making sure that I don't cover up the whole gap. So I leave one hole there where I am going to place the eyes later on. I'm using my scissors to cut out the excess. Now I'm using my fingers to distress the edges a little bit more. And now in the gap I'm going to use a set of eyes and insert them inside that hole. I think this is a great Halloween card and it's super easy to reproduce. Now I am going to add the sentiment that says boo and I'm going to stamp it on uh, my scrap paper that I have from the previous card and I have used my pencil to draw a speech bubble. If you have a die it's even better but um, I decided to draw it so that I can uh, make it fit perfectly all around that uh, boo sentiment. I'm going to stick it uh, on top of my card panel and that's ready. Now this card gave me the idea to make the next one which is pretty much similar. So I'm uh, working on this uh, orange pattern paper. I'm going to stamp the sentiment with Versa marking at the very bottom of my panel. And then I am going to use my Nouveau embossing powder which is black but with glitter. I think this is a great uh, embossing powder to have because uh, being an embossing powder it uh, locks the glitter so it doesn't go anywhere. So now I'm going to use my heat gun to heat set everything. And I hope you can see the shine there. And now I'm going to use my craft knife and create a few slits. I don't measure anything but I make sure that um, some are bigger than the others. And now I'm going to distress them with my fingers, making sure that I have holes on all the places where I have those slits. This is a very easy card to recreate. And um, I'm also going to add some uh, embellishments. So I'm stamping the butt and I have also stamped the spider coming from the top. Now I'm going to add some foam tape at the back for a raised effect and dimension and I'm going to stick it down on the dark grey card base. And in the holes I'm going to add the eyes, just like I did for the previous card. Now even if you don't have this card kit, I think that this video is going to give you great ideas on how to create 10 different uh, Halloween cards. But um, I am also going to make sure that I list to all the products that I'm using today individually down below in the description area as well as on my blog. So here is the card. I think it's just adorable. So simple and easy to replicate. For the next card I'm going to use this pattern paper with all those uh, different panels and I'm going to cut out one of them. And I'm also going to cut out the strip with the candies from this pattern paper. So with my uh, craft knife and my ruler I'm going to cut out a, a slit before the word candy and one after that. I'm making sure that it's wide enough so I can uh, thread through that strip of candy that I have cut out. I'm going to use some foam tape at the back for some added dimension. And I'm going to stick it on this uh, pattern paper with all those uh, crazy lab uh, designs. So the crazy scientist on top of my panel uh, matches perfectly the background paper. I'm going to cut out uh, the excess paper and my panel is pretty much ready. I'm going to stick it directly on top of the white card base. To finish it off I'm using my Nouveau Crystal Drops at the background creating some uh, dots by using my apple green color that was included in the kit. For this card I'm using one more panel that I have cut out from the same pattern paper where I have cut out the mud scientist from the previous card.
So I am using my scissors to cut around the bottom and I'm going to chop off the top. So I have a nice banner for my card. Now for this strip of paper I'm going to use a, a few of those designs at the top of the banner just to extend it and to make it more interesting looking. And uh, from this panel I'm going to cut around that uh, little ghost with the pumpkin. And I'm going to leave a black border all around as I am cutting it out. Now I'm using the purple patterned paper and the mask. With my blending tool I'm going over the mask to apply some black suit distress ink. Nothing has to be perfect here, I'm just creating an abstract background for my card. And once I'm happy with uh, the half of the panel, I'm going to move the stencil next to it and do the exact same thing. And then I'm going to use my blending tool to darken up the rest of the paper and mainly the edges. Now to add more interest on the edges and to distress my card even more, I'm using this Nouveau Mousse and uh, that's a uh, Lilac Lavender. And I'm going all around the edges. This is going to give a nice uh, touch and uh, shine on the edges. And now that my background is ready, I'm going to stick the banner at the top. And I'm going to uh, add some uh, foam adhesive at the back of uh, my little ghost there. And uh, add him just behind the banner poking out. So my card is pretty much finished. I'm just going to give some fun uh, eyes to the little guy there. And I'm going to stick it directly on my card base. For this card I'm using the white card base. And then to finish off the card I'm going to use the purple crystal drop that was included in the kit which happens to have glitter inside. It's not just uh, shiny. And I'm going to add some uh, dots here and there. I'm mainly focusing on the end of the branches. So now let's move on to the sixth card. Now I'm going to use my circle die and I'm trying to decide which uh, size I want to. And I'm going for a um, shaker card. Now this is a um, scrap paper that I have from uh, a card I made previously. I'm going to cut it out using my die cutting machine. And uh, on the back I'm going to add tape adhesive, stick uh, um, acetate. And again, for I get a lot of questions on what acetate I use. That's just packaging. I keep packaging and recycle it. So I am going to cut out a piece, stick it at the back. I'm going to cut out the excess. And I have a nice window for my card. Now the next step is to use a foam adhesive to create a nice pocket so that I can uh, insert my sequence. And I use the sequence from the bag that was included in the kit. I'm peeling off um, the backing tape and then I'm going to cover up the window with uh, a piece of uh, pattern paper. You can use either side, the orange or the green. And my window is ready, which I am going to stick uh, on top of uh, the purple card base. Now, I am going to cut out this panel with the pumpkins. And I'm going to do again the same thing. I'm using my scissors to cut around the pumpkins, leaving a black border. And then I'm going to use some foam tape at the back. And stick them on the window. So I'm just assembling my card now, sticking this down on my card base. The pumpkins at the bottom of the window. And for the sentiment, I'm going to use one of the uh, sentiments that were included in, the, in this uh, pattern paper. So I'm just going to cut out a uh, happy Halloween. I created a fish tail at the end of that uh, strip and I'm just sticking it down with glue. Now to finish it off, I'm going to add some glossy accents on the eyes of the pumpkins. Now this is a really easy card. I am working directly on my card base and I am stamping with Versamark ink uh, the pumpkin, the butt 
and the country. I am mainly focusing on the border of the card since I am going to cover up the middle area. So you can leave it as it is with uh, that tone-on-tone -tone look or you can add uh, some uh, embossing powder. I am going for uh, embossing and I will be using the Nouveau Black uh, Glitter embossing powder that I have used in one of the previous cards. So I'm going to apply my embossing powder and then heat set it with my heat gun. For the center of my card I have cut out this uh, panel and I'm going to stick it at the center just by using some foam tip at the back. Really quick and simple design. Again I'm going to use the same technique with my scissors, I'm going to cut around this image and uh, I'm going to create my own embellishment. I have a white piece of cardstock and uh, this scrap paper from a previous card with my scissors, I am creating a slope there and this is going to be the ground for my little guys. I am using foam tape at the back and stick it at the bottom of my white paper and on top I'm going to place the little guys. Now these uh, little guys were screaming for uh, the eyes so I just had to stick them on top which is going to make the card even more adorable. Now for the sentiment I used alphabet stickers and uh, these are, are alphabet stickers that I had for years, I can't even remember when I got them and I just uh, wrote down BOO. Now for the bottom of my panel I just used um, this strip of paper to make it more interesting. I'm going to cut out the excess paper and I'm going to stick it at uh, the center of this uh, orange card base. For this card I'm going to do some stamping, so I'm going to stamp this little girl and uh, I'm using Memento Toxido Black ink, I'm also going to stamp the pumpkin twice and then I'm going to use my Copic markers to do the coloring. For this card I'm going for a shaker card again and I have cut out a panel using my rectangle dies. Now I'm working directly on the card base and at the center I'm going to stamp the sentiment. So I'm going to stamp it with Versamark ink and I am also going to stamp the spider web that is included in the stamp set but I want it to look as if it's coming from uh, behind the border so I'm going to place the border on top of my card so that I can measure. I'm going to stamp it in one more place and then I can apply my embossing powder. The embossing powder that I'm using is by Nuvo and I'm going to link you down below on the color. It's not totally white, it's off-white and I'm going to use my heat gun and heat set everything. I have prepared my window with acetate and the foam tape all around. I'm adding some of the sequins. I'm going to peel off the foam and then stick my card base directly on top. So my window is ready and now I'm going to embellish it a little bit more with the little girl using some uh, foam tape at the back and now I'm going to also stick the pumpkins just next to here. Mm -hmm. 
And now for the last card, I'm going to use my punch and my circle dies to cut out uh, images from the pattern papers. So I had that uh, Frankenstein there, I had the, the cat and the spider. I cut out a panel from this colorful pattern paper full of stars and I'm going to use foam tape at the back of my little elements there and stick them on top. For the sentiment I'm going to use again this pattern paper and cut out some of the strips, the one that says trick or treat and the other one that says October 31st. I'm going to use glue at the back and stick them directly at the bottom, one over the other. And to stick them down just because they are so thin, I am using my new Nouveau glue pen. And then I'm going to use some tape adhesive at the back of the panel and stick it on top of the orange card base. To finish it off, I'm going to add some uh, glitter on uh, the main elements by using my clear Wink of Stella glitter pen. So let's take a quick look on all the 10 Halloween cards that I have created by using the Halloween card kit by Simon Says Stamp. And let's take a quick look on all the leftovers. Now this kit was a great stash builder. Since I now have uh, three bottles of crystal drops, I do have um, the stamp set, the paper bags, the tea lights. I have only a few scraps of paper, but I still have uh, the mask and uh, the ribbon and uh, a few more sequins. So here are some close-up photos of the cards that I made today. I hope you had fun and got inspired and if you did, don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me thumbs up on my YouTube channel. And if you need more inspiration, here are two more videos where I am creating 10 cards using the Simon Says Stamp card kits. Thank you all for watching!